A new crisis is brewing and it, it impacts you directly. The cost of your groceries will go up. The price of fuel will go up. If you're in the manufacturing business, supplies of your raw materials could get delayed. If you're waiting for that special parcel from overseas, you might have to wait longer. Do you know why? Because global shipping lanes are in crisis. International trade has been disrupted. Most of the goods that we use all over the world are transported through ships. And those ships are struggling to reach their destinations. Why? Because their routes are fraught with challenges. We are talking about the world's busiest shipping lanes, the Suez Canal and the Panama Canal. Both are in disarray. The Suez Canal is caught in a conflict zone. The Houthis are attacking ships in the Red Sea, so they've had to divert. Trade volumes through the Suez Canal are down. They've fallen by 40%, 4-0. What about the Panama Canal? It faces a different problem, climate change. The canal is drying up, there is a drought, and that has led to traffic jams. So fewer ships are passing through Panama. And the result is this. We have two major choke points. The Swiss Canal handles 12% of global trade, the Panama Canal another 5%. Now the movement of these goods stands disrupted. And these shipping lanes are the lifeline of global trade. It is thanks to them that supermarket shelves get stocked and parcels reach your home. More than 80% of international trade relies on working sea routes, so a disruption affects everyone, including you and me. Let's look at some goods that are shipped around the world. Electronics are a major export. And who's the biggest maker of electronics in the world? China. It's a major hub. And who are the biggest importers? The United States and Europe. How do they get their electronics? Through the Suez Canal. So what happens when there is a disruption? when ships carrying electronics from China cannot reach America and Europe. There will be shortages, and that could lead to higher prices. And which other goods could be impacted? Clothing and footwear from South Asian countries like Vietnam and Bangladesh. Spices and coffee from Southeast Asia. Food items like bananas and avocados from Latin America, and dairy products from Australia and New Zealand. All these goods depend on steady shipping lanes, what happens when supplies are disrupted? The same outcome, more shortages, higher prices, eventually more inflation. And we've seen all of this in recent history. In 2021, the Suez Canal was closed for six days. A container vessel had got stuck then. Daily trade came to a halt. Trade worth $10 billion every day halted. And this happened when the pandemic was at its peak. So the disruption led to more supply bottlenecks. It contributed to higher inflation. Now, what is the connection between inflation and shipping? Let me explain that. When shipping routes are disrupted, exporters look for alternatives, which usually means taking longer routes or more expensive ones. All of this adds to the cost of export. We've already seen this happen with the Red Sea crisis. The drought in Panama has had a similar effect. Experts are already worried. They say if the Panama Canal is not fixed, inflation in the U.S. would go up. One report says, if shipping costs rise by 20%, inflation goes up by 0.15%. And it won't be just the US. India is not insulated from all of this. For several key commodities, India depends on exports. Oil is the biggest one. And how are oil prices doing? They're going up. Brent crude has risen by 1% this week. In the last financial year, about 65% of India's oil imports came from the Suez Canal. They're worth $105 billion. So oil is a clear vulnerability. But do you know what else could be hit? Textiles, chemicals, metals, pharmaceuticals, all of these could get costlier. So far, it has not happened. But the longer these disruptions drag on, the greater will be the risk for India.